Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. This is your July monthly reading. It is a general reading, Aquarius, and we have the overall energy. As bad spirit, a rebirth is assured. So whatever it is that you thought was gone, it is reappearing in your life. Coyote spirit, trust in divine detours. And tend to the small things, mouse spirit, okay. So Aquarius, whatever you thought was didn't come to manifestation, it looks very much as though there's going to be a reboot. So you'll have to tell me in the comments below what that could be. So Aquarius, we would spirit, we would like the best and highest messages for Aquarius. I do want to say thank you for stopping by and welcome to all new viewers. Welcome back subscribers. So we're going to do a Celtic and I'm going to give you a table shot when we clarify. Okay, so Ace of Wands off to a new beginning, a very spirited new beginning. I like the energy. How pretty is that? This is something that you've always wanted to do, something that you've done. The High Priestess, you're going to keep, you're going to play your cards close to your vest. This looks like a creative enterprise of some way. So that is Aries Energy. So we have High Priestess keeping your, keeping secrets. You're not going to tell people what you're doing. The Two of Wands, you're at a crossroads, Aquarius. You're going to be making a decision in the near future. We have the Queen of Pentacles, so many of you have a very successful career path currently, and we are. what I'm seeing you do is looking at a new opportunity, something that you've been trying to launch for a while, uh, something that's exciting, energetic, it fires you up, but you're very stable. For the Capricorns that are coming to the reading, there's a lot of stability, a lot of, you've been taking good care of yourself, and there go the cards. Okay, so the energy for the crown, the best that can be achieved is great success, the world card, dancing on top of the world, being super successful, a total transformation of your life, and look at that beautiful death card that really is all about making a lot of room for new growth in your life. Those flowers are just blossoming, you know, you'll celebrate the old you and the new you. The Three of Cups energy is coming in here. You do have a really good support system. Friends, acquaintances, people around you who um, really support you. We get devil energy. You are obsessed with the outcome. And I do feel as though for many of you, the environment in which you are trying to operate is one that is riddled with potholes. So in other words, if you're trying to break into a field where there's a lot of competition, where there's a lot of toxic energy, I do feel as though whatever field or whatever endeavor for your career, you're very well aware that it's very tempting. I'll be right back. <laughs> I have my manicure and I can't even pick up the cards. <laughs> it seems so silly. Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have for the last two energies before we go to the outcome. So the outcome is quite beautiful. The outcome for the month is the Ten of Pentacles. Abundance, a new career is what it looks like after disappointment. So you're, whatever it is that you're doing, Aquarius, looks like it might be work that is contract work, two of pentacles. You might have more than one job. You know, it's like when we see actors or actresses who are, um, you know, working two or three different gigs. The King of pentacles, that's what you're seeking. And spirit is giving you the wisdom of how to maintain a spiritual path in an environment that is very toxic. Wow. Wow. <laughs> That's a powerful reading, Aquarius. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify with the Light Series Tarot. And we're going to go ahead and give you the tip shot. There we go. I know everybody likes that table shot. Okay, so why do we have the Ace of Wands here? What is this Ace of Wands about? A lot of passion, a lot of intrigue here in this new endeavor. 
the just, okay, the Ten of Swords. So at some point, you have had what you deem as a failure, something that you didn't succeed at. But the Justice card is balancing out that energy, and it's bringing it into alignment with Libra energy. What this speaks to me of is a contract. So that in the past, whatever efforts you made that didn't work out, you're now moving into this phenomenal energy of justice, Libra energy, very powerful for you. You have been working on whatever this is in terms of a craft, whether you're a writer, again, this looks uh, creative, but career oriented. So we get this beautiful Virgo energy, you are doing your work, you're planning your work, and you're working your plan. The Two of Wands, look at the star card. See, that's what I said. For many of you, you are trying to make a career out of something that would bring you into a stardom, something that would give you a voice. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, something that would really give voice. Uh, something that really is, uh, you've been working at this for a very long time. Aquarius, why do we have the Queen of Pentacles here? The Hermit card. So you've been toiling away. A lot of you work alone. For many of you, again, I think this could be writing. It, it's some sort of creative endeavor. It's creation, but it's also very powerful. If you make it big, you can really you can feel like you'd be wealthy. Why is the World card here? Okay, so you are in a defensive position. It looks like there's a lot of competition, but you're rising to the top. You're going, you may be famous star on the world stage. It looks as though you're able, you're a cut above the competition. People are trying to sort of, you know, get the job that you want, and yet you're very much peaceful, maintaining yourself, um, really keeping yourself in a very squeaky clean energy. The Two of Cups, a death card. So for some of you, a relationship will be born, a relationship will die, a relationship will be rebirthed. For some of you, you may be getting back together with an old love or an old flame. But when we get the Two of Cups, that's the Bride and Groom card also. So it means that your life could transform through marriage, right? because it is the death of the old way and something new. But this is the most beautiful death card. I love this death card because you have all this beautiful flowery energy around it. What do we have here for the Three of Cups? This embodies your energy. You're a really good collaborator. You're a really good friend. You're coming in here as the uh, Queen of Wands. The energy is quite stunning. You know, you get attention wherever you go. The Queen of Wands bosses up, she knows what she's doing, and you're always sort of the leader in the group. The Five of Coins, though, says that somebody around you is struggling right now, and you may or may not see it, Aquarius. Somebody is struggling. Four of Cups, they feel left in the cold by you. They feel as though they're not getting enough attention from you. The Devil Energy, let's see what that Devil Energy is for. For you, Aquarius, we're getting Temperance card. It looks as though you may have a breakup or somebody in your life who's really upset right now. I'm getting somebody who seems very out of balance, somebody who is, um, you know, usually this is a problem solver, but we see the King of Swords reversed as somebody who's angry, somebody who's not balanced. The Four of Pentacles is... They're not going to hold back with you, okay? They're not. The Six of Cups, it looks like it's been a long-term romance. It doesn't, it looks like they want to move forward and they just feel as though you don't want to. The Strength card says that the relationship may not be as strong as you thought it was. They, they don't seem to be very comfortable in this energy of singledom. So there's, uh, you know, there's a little bit of trouble here. There's definitely trouble. It looks as though for some of you a relationship will end. Okay, self-imposed restriction is where you're at. The star card is a star card. It's in the star card is hopes and dreams for love, you know, for love. And also the energy of the King of Pentacles here. So again, you're really, you know, you're holding out, you're hanging out. 
you're very much in love with what you're doing, you're willing to move for it. Self-imposed restriction means that until something manifests, you're not going to talk about it. You're not really going to sort of push the fates. I'm seeing you maintain a really serene energy, keeping a lot of the anxiety of the process to yourself, uh, really being your own best friend. Uh, people around you, though, are feeling as though you don't have much time for them. But, you know, that's something that will be worked out. Three of Cups says that you're really, really lovely and that you offer, and I get, look at that, the Capricorn Queen again. I would say that you are manifesting a whole life change. <clears throat> In the process of this life change, a relationship may not pull through and or it will pull through with a lot of stress and a lot of strain because the two of you make the decision to pull through. So let's see what the Sacred Destiny cards have in store for you in terms of your outcome, another level of outcome. Um, but it looks like whatever this is, this is something that you've wanted for a very long time. You've worked on this for many, many years. You know, you've had this wish in your heart, Aquarius. This is something that's coming to fruition for you. Uh, as, as I write this, you know, as we write the titles for the video, miracles happen. You didn't see this. You never thought it was coming. It's very pleasurable. It brings you great happiness. And enlightenment. Ooh, you're going to learn about the inner workings. Again, star energy, star energy. You're doing what you do because you absolutely love it. Aquarius, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Thanks.